the sad thing about how the to pillars that can shirt the two of you. So let us pray that God will do bread with wheat. And I'm not in my book. Let the church say it. And then hold the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, praise God, for allowing us to assemble ourselves together one more time. And we are experiencing hurt all over again, but it's all right. Because God's going to make everything all right. My task this day is to share the Old Testament writing of Scripture with you and my family. And it reads in the third chapter of the Ecclesiastes, and it says, You never think. Um, and a time to every purpose under the heavens, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to up that which was a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to live and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together again. A time to embrace and a time to inform. Amen, my God. From embracing. A time to get. And a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silent, and a time to speak, a time to love, oh yes sir, and a time to hate, a time of war and a time for peace. Yes. We pray God's peace on the entire soul family, friends and relatives alike. Because we all need God. Amen. This word may be it be a stepping stone for you and for me. Pastor Edwards Great Church and Edwards Family. Reading from the book of First Thessalonians. Normally we read from St. John. Chapter 14, where it says that not to have any trouble. I went before the Lord and He led me to something else because they asked Paul a question about what happens to those that go to sea. What, what goes on after? God did me to this passage of scripture, and I'm thankful for it being a comfort to us in this time. So I'm reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. 
and wants you to listen to this. But I would not have you to be ignorant concerning them which are asleep. Well, notice it says asleep and not dead. That you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. But if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Listen to this. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort you one another with these words. Yeah. I read to you First yeah. Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and to the hearers of his word. And let the church say, Amen. Hallelujah. The pastor has asked me to ask all ministers that are in the house if you would please stand. Amen. Let's give the Lord a praise clap for all the ministers.
We wake up and things may change. But God, you never change. And you say you never leave us, nor forsake us. No matter what you find us, we thank you, God. And we expect the joy. Joy. Joy in the Lord. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, church. Y'all say, but don't be happy. Praise the Lord, church. And she led, she led by example. 
all the time. I don't care who did her wrong. You know, I don't care who hurt my feelings. She gonna tell you she you hurt my feelings. But bring that child up here. She gonna she gonna take down. She gonna have to so like for my family. Well, I want I want us to continue to learn to learn how to love, to learn how to extend to love. So like because like outside of that we ain't we ain't. We got us, and so like we have to continue to learn how to love in spite of, in spite of, because like if we don't, if we don't do that, we ain't, we ain't got it, we ain't got it. But and girl, I love you both, uh, and uh, we go, we go miss you. We go cry a lot more days. We go cry a lot more days, but we got so many good memories. Um, family, I love y'all.
Okay. Let the church say amen, everyone. Amen. I know it's been a rough day, but we got to smile to grumble. That's what we got to do. We got to praise and praise to our God for grumble. I'm going to stand for this woman. You hear me? She stood for her three kids, so I'm going to stand for her. And I told mine, when I'm standing, you stand behind me because this is how she do things. So God gave me strength. First time, so you don't have to bear with me here. But I'm going to do this to make her smile. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be words of encouragement to my dad, to my stepmom, to my aunts, to my uncle, to the family, to her friends, to everyone. So many hearts are hurting today thinking of you, Grandma. I pray God will help each and every one to find a way to keep the sweet memories alive, to heal the broken hearts and to keep them open to face another day because life will move on and the sun will shine again. And this is a poem I came up to my mama. The day you left and came your wings, my heart just broke in two. I wish you could have stayed with me, but heaven needed you. You left me with memories, and I love you dearly. Still, no matter how much time goes by, you know I will, I will always love you. You were a very special person with kindness in your heart and you love and the love we had together grows stronger now we are apart. I know I can't bring you back although I wish you every day but a piece of me went with you the day you went away. I love you.
my family that I can't do anything without the Lord. We have been on a long journey. We are in a place that most, if they were not standing on the foundation of God, would not be able to make it right now. And I love when she 
allowed us to spend the night because we would have to get approval from our parents to stay the night. At least I don't know I'm going to tell this right now. <laughs> but some of the things I even reminisce on this week is how Ann would allow Lisa and I to bring her to work at the meal. And Lisa and I would get in Ann. Ann always had some nice cars. We would get in to Ann's car and we would get ready and she would go to work on second shift at the meal. And I remember it was a green car with a cream top. And I remember that we took Ann to work at the meal. And this was during September, because I never forget it, because it was camp meeting time. <laughs> and Ann had been as smart as a whip. She turned around and looked at Lisa and I and said, don't y'all go down to that camp <laughs> And we laughed. What you? 
Yeah.